Today, we are going to explore a chemical engineering innovation called OraQuick that allows patients to conduct HIV tests within their own homes. Not only we will we explain the makeup of each device, but we will also explore the engineering thought process behind the key features that make this device so successful. The OraQuick in-home oral HIV test was first developed in 2012 by OraSure Technologies, a company that sought to develop the first FDA-approved home HIV test. OraSure built on their 2004 product, shown in the timeline here, that was the first FDA-approved use of oral fluid for HIV antibody detection, but was only sold with prescription. They did this by creating something that allows patients at home to administer a test simply by swabbing cheeks and gums with this device and then placing it in a vial where a chemical reaction takes place. 20 to 40 minutes later, a color change indicates an HIV positive result. Currently, it can be purchased online and at authorized retailers such as CVS and Walgreens for as cheap as $39.99. OraQuick is a device that miniaturizes complex chemical reactions and processes to a consumer-friendly product. It involves chemical reactions in order to detect the antibodies that the body's immune system creates in response to the HIV infection, not the HIV viruses themselves, present in oral mucosal transudate or in the blood. All these complex chemical processes are comprised in this small device, which is able to give a qualitative result of HIV positive or negative in about 20 minutes with an accuracy of approximately 99%. Every or quick package contains the actual test device, a developer solution vial, a specimen collection loop, and a test stand. The device holds a nitrocellulose test strip that has a porous flat pad at the bottom. The patient places this into his mouth to swab at his cheeks and gums with. The flat pad allows the absorption of the specimen into the device. Within the plastic casing, high on the test strip, there is a pad that has a substance with the makeup of HIV peptide antigens and a biochemical that recognizes the antibodies. In addition, there are another two pads, one to minimize non-specific interactions, and the second with a protein A gold colorimetric indicator reagent that allows the color change to take place in a positive test. After the sample is taken, the device is placed into a developer solution vial. The vial could contains one milliliter of a phosphate buffered saline solution that facilitates the flow of the specimen through the device. It contains a specially engineered enzyme that reacts whenever there is HIV antigen, HIV antibody binding. The test stand is also crucial to this step in the process as the reaction is only effective when the bile and test device are placed in the correct position. The goals of OraQuick that make it stand out from other HIV tests are its ability to give fast, accurate, and easy results. Compared to the benchmark blood tests, which can take anywhere between 1 and 7 days, this test takes 20 minutes, can be conducted at home, and still provides 99% accurate results. At surface value, this might sound like a lot of attributes, however, it is related to merely one design property, the chemical reaction that gives the test result. In the research and development stage of this process, Orisha realized that it would be faster to track the HIV antibodies that the human body releases when it is infected with the virus. Moreover, this gave them the possibility of detecting HIV antibodies not only in the blood, but also in oral mucosal transudate. Nonetheless, the truly deep insight that makes this product possible today was coming up with an innovative reaction that is able to give different results whether there are, a, there are HIV antibodies present or not, and to be able to distinguish those two results. Orishu Chemicals Engineer developed a reaction that will give a color change from light red to reddish purple if there are HIV an antibodies detected. That takes no more than 20 minutes and that only needs an external developer solution beside what is already present in the 15 centimeter device. To further understand how the reaction works, we will have to focus on the chemistry and biology that goes in the microscopic process. The reaction Reaction, if any, proceeds inside the device, and its reactants are the possible HIV antibodies present in the oral fluid, plus a systematically engineered enzyme and HIV antigens present in the blogger pad. After taking the sample, the patient places it into the vial that contains one milliliter of phosphate buffered selling solution that facilitates the flow of the specimen through the device until the absorbent pad. The colored enzyme and the HIV antigen present in the blogger pad dissolve and flow up the assay with the sample. As the oral fluid and the enzymes make their way up the test strip, they encounter the HIV antigen substance. If there are HIV antibodies present, and in the oral fluid, by biological principle, they start to bind with the antigens. At this moment, the enzyme comes to play. It is specifically engineered with three main features. Firstly, that it only reacts with a pair of binded HIV antibodies, HIV antigens. Secondly, that it changes color when doing so. And finally, that it is able to react rapidly. This then produces a reddish purple line on the red out portion of the device, which indicates the presence of HIV antibodies and thus a positive HIV result. If there are no HIV antibodies, no reaction takes place and no color line is observed. OraQuick is a great example of how simple chemical and biological reactions can be applied to solve seemingly complex problems, such as detecting HIV in 20 minutes. The innovative microstructure of this device explains its main design property, the reaction that gives the result of HIV positive or negative. However, there's still room for improvements like quantifying the results of the test rather than just a qualitative color change and minimizing the number of components in the product such that all reactions can somehow take place in the same plastic device on which the sample is taken. Ultimately, Orsure Technologies have provided us with a device that conveniently and effectively allows patients to conduct an HIV test within the privacy of their own homes at minimal cost.